What's up, people, and welcome to another Warhammer, the Warcom team probably shouldn't have said that type of video. Since, uh, you know, the last one, where people who have never even seen my channel or know how my content is decided it was rage bait, I might as well lean into the rage bait thing. So, I'm, I'm really not going to do that. I don't do rage bait. In fact, I try to be as objective as possible and break things down so that people can see multiple points of view. But that's besides the point. Uh, yeah, if I called out the first statement, I might as well call out the other one. And that's the uh, the Imperium is driven by hate. Warhammer is not statement that the Warcom team put out back in 2021. Obviously, at the height of uh, tension, you could say. Um, and I believe this was in response to a guy showing up dressed as a Nazi to a Spanish tournament and they kicked him out. I, uh, let me let me start by saying that that is not indicative of the hobby as a whole. And the fact that they felt the need to say, hey, don't dress up as a Nazi in fucking public boggles my mind. And I'm pretty sure that this statement was written by the same guy that did the whole Warhammers for everyone thing. Sorry, the same person. I don't want to I don't want to offend anybody. Again, the core meaning behind the statement gets lost when you start throwing in a whole bunch of extra shit. They literally could have just said, we don't condone Nazism. Please don't show up to our stuff dressed as a Nazi or you're going to get your ass kicked. Done. Nothing else. Hey, don't do this. That's not for that. Plain and simple, right? You would think so. But uh, we're going to break this down again. I'm going to offer both sides as somebody who makes fun of everybody. I'm not a leftist. I'm not a right winger. I don't give a fuck what you identify as. If you're gay, straight, trans, lesbian, whatever, non-binary. I don't care. I truly don't. But I digress. We're going to get into this anyway. So I'm going to read through it first. The Imperium is driven by hate. Warhammer is not. Are you ready, guys that like rage bait and want to click on stuff and not listen to the fucking video? Here we go. There are no goodies in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. None. Especially not the Imperium of Man. Okay. I have a feeling that there are several authors that would possibly take umbrage with this statement because there are heroes in the Warhammer 40k universe. Straight up. Authors that call their own characters heroes. If they're not heroes and there's no good guys, what the fuck does this even mean? That's a broad statement that just shits all over what's supposed to be, canonically, the good guys in the 40k setting. Uh, why, why single out the Imperium of Man? Why are you not talking about, you know, Drukhari, the Tau? Oh, wait, well, the Tau are basically space fish communists, but that's besides the point. Uh, what about, I don't know, the Eldar? Eldari? Maybe? Sometimes? Orcs? Necrons? Fucking Tyranids? Gene Stealers? None of that? Those are what? None of them? Why would you single out the faction that most people are drawn to because it's fucking humanity? Why? Why would you do that? Ugh. It's numberless legions of soldiers and zealots bludgeon their way across the galaxy. They kind of don't have a choice, given the setting. Delivering death to anyone and anything that doesn't adhere to their blinkered view of purity. Yeah, that's true. Almost every man and woman toils in misery, either on the battlefield, where survival is measured in hours, or in the countless manufactorums and hive slums that fuel the Imperial War Machine. You know, I'm pretty sure the whole premise behind the uh, upcoming Rogue Trader game was to showcase stuff outside of the Imperium that apparently has romance options. So what are you trying to say here? Are you saying that everybody dies and everybody is miserable? Or are you trying to say that there are some people that are probably okay? 
or not. <clears throat> All of this in slavish servitude to the living corpse of a god emperor whose commandments are at best only half remembered, twisted by time and the fallibility of humanity. Okay, living corpse of a god emperor. That's written by somebody that... It's, at least it sounds like it's written by somebody that really doesn't like the fucking Imperium. <laughs> In fact, that's what most Chaos players say. As far as I know, this person could be, a, I don't know, an Abaddon and Horus fanboy. I, I have no idea. Warhammer 40,000 isn't just grimdark. It's the grimmest darkest. Yes. Yes, it is. That's why people like it. The Imperium of Man stands as a cautionary tale of what could happen should the very worst of humanity's lust for power and extreme, unyielding xenophobia set in. Like so many aspects of Warhammer 40,000, the Imperium of Man is satirical. That is one facet of the Imperium. Just one. And saying it's satirical, consider... Keep in mind that they had to go into uh, the definition of satire after this. Saying it's satirical is both true and false. I would say that in the beginning of the 40k, it took itself, well, not seriously at all, up until now where it's developed into this it, just grim, dark sci-fi fantasy type of it, very... People always point to this satire portion of the article from stuff like Rogue Trader and back then. You really don't see too many people pointing at satire on the latest, and when I say latest, I mean like the last 10 years of the uh, Black Library publications that have come out. It's, it really does take itself more serious now than it did. Uh, you'll hear people say, oh, well, it's supposed to be satire of the UK, blah, 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 blah. I've heard all kinds of theories. I think they were just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what stuck. And then all of a sudden this thing took off and now it's like, all right. We kind of have to lay off the uh, satire part and actually turn this into a thing that people are going to, uh, you know, enjoy. And I know people are going to take offense to that statement, but it is what it is. If something doesn't take itself serious, you're not going to gain a hardcore, you know, fan base like 40K has now. Uh, that's just plain and simple. For clarity... Satire is the use of humor, irony, or exaggeration, displaying people's vices or a system's flaws for scorn, derision, and ridicule. Something doesn't have to be wacky or laugh-out-loud funny to be satire. The derision is in the setting's amplification of a tyrannical, genocidal regime turned up to 11. The Imperium is not an aspirational state, outside of the in-universe perspectives of those who are slaves to its systems. It's a monstrous civilization, and its monstrousness is plain for all to see. Then what the fuck is there to like about Warhammer? Or in this case, 40k. If you're sitting there shitting all over the thing that you're selling, and saying, hey, you shouldn't like this, in fact, you should fucking hate it, what's the goddamn point? Oh, so you can sit there and point at it and laugh at it. I can do that with other things. And whoever wrote this obviously uh, hangs out in certain circles. I'm just going to say that. Let's continue. That said, certain real-world hate groups and adherents of historical ideologies better left in the past sometimes seek to claim intellectual properties for their own enjoyment and to co-opt them for their own agendas. There you go. If you had left that part in there, that's perfect. You don't have to shit all over the setting and the people that like the Imperium as fans. When you're trying to reach the point of, hey, no Nazis. And I'm going to get fucking demonetized for that. It is what it is. Just say it. Just be like, if you're a fan of fascism and all these other things, we don't want you. Plain and simple. In fact, 99.9% .9 of your audience is going to say, yeah. We don't like them either. <laughs> but I'm going to keep going. We've said it before, but a reminder about what we believe in. We believe in and support a community united by shared values of mutual kindness and respect. Yes. Our fantasy settings are grim and dark, but that is not a reflection of who we are or how we feel the real world should be. Also, yes, it is a fictional setting. 
We will never accept nor condone any form of prejudice, hatred, or abuse in our company or in the Warhammer hobby. Yeah, if you see somebody being an asshole, regardless of what their ideology is, you should probably call them out. Period. I don't care what you identify as, or what your gender is, or whatever. If you're being a dick, those people need to be called out. Right, left, or middle. Again, plain and simple. But, let's keep going. If you come to a Games Workshop event or store and behave to the contrary, including wearing the symbols of real-world hate groups, you will be asked to leave. That's most places. Just because you have the option to dress up in that manner doesn't mean you should. Because most people are going to see you in public and probably want to beat your ass. Just saying. We won't let you participate. We don't want your money. We don't want you in the Warhammer community. Again, this goes for most communities. For those heroes out there running their own Warhammer events, we'd love for you to join us in this stance. I'm pretty sure most of them already are. Over the years, we've been fortunate enough to support events like Adepticon, the Las Vegas Open, Blood and Glory, and many, many more with it, with terrain, prizes, and goodie bags. We've also provided staff to help with organization and rules, rules, queries, and to judge painting competitions and run seminars. If you need help running an event, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then it goes into a, you know, how they've donated money, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's, that's more extra stuff here. That's besides the point. But yeah, all of this was done... Because of one guy at an event that pissed off a bunch of people, and rightfully so. But as a whole, it doesn't represent the entirety of the fandom. And then this article comes out and hits people over the head that happen to like the Imperium, and now you're just going, well, all right, well, even the own company, Games Workshop doesn't even like the Imperium, apparently. So who are the good guys? Oh, well, there aren't any. Okay, uh, so you're telling me I'm not supposed to like people like Uriel Ventress or uh, Gilliman or Dorn or Sanguinius? None of those guys? The Khan? Not him either? I'm not supposed to like, I don't know, Ragnar Blackmane? I don't, is he the bad guy? Oh, Vulcan! What about Vulcan? Vulcan's not the good guy? What? <laughs> what? What is happening? I don't know what to believe anymore. They're all bad, apparently. The Emperor of Mankind. This guy that kept saying, hey, I'm not a god, but everybody kept saying, yeah, you fucking are. Why all the extra stuff shitting on your poster boys that everybody, oh, okay, and I'm going to get to another point, is if Imperium bad, Space Marines bad, why are people pushing so hard for female space marines? These are the bad guys. Why do you want them so bad? If they're representative of a fascistic government, why do you want them? Why wouldn't you want something else? All oh, right, because it's the poster child of the franchise, right? All these arguments are, they, they go in circles. Because people say the same things over and over and over and over and over and over. But nobody ever sits down and actually analyzes what people are saying when they're saying the things that they say. They just go, yes, or no, that's bad. Which is why I take the time to do things like this, to look at it from a perspective of, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, the core message is good, but why did you add all this extra shit? What was the point? It, it, it's kind of, it's really weird in my mind. And I say it's weird because the way it's written, the way those first couple paragraphs are written, sounds like it was written by somebody who really fucking hates the Imperium. Whereas I've seen statements from some authors that you know, they're writing these in, imperial heroes that they want you to like. So they can keep writing about them. You know, you got... And I brought up the Primarchs that are the not good guys. 
I'm supposed to not like Sanguinius? I'm supposed to not like Vulcan? Vulcan's like the the fucking teddy bear of Primarchs. <laughs> the salamanders are like the only ones that are like, hey, I'm not going to step on this guy's face as I uh, do what I have to do. <laughs> you know? It's... The whole thing is written weird just to get to the point of, hey, we don't want this thing in our hobby. You shouldn't want this thing in our hobby, in our hobby either. Which is factually correct. But why add everything else? So there you have it, everybody. Just another breakdown of uh, more rage bait, as people like to call it. When in actuality, all I'm trying to do is look at things from a perspective of, okay, why would you say this? You know, I know why they said it. But looking back at it, it's like you really didn't need to. You could have narrowed this down to two paragraphs and people would have gotten it. But that's neither here nor there. You know, people are going to get mad at what I say regardless. And uh, I don't care. I'm still going to make videos like this. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, I'm hoping Games Workshop is a little bit more careful with their, uh, their wording. Oh, but who who the hell am I? I mean, multi-million dollar company that makes plastic. Uh, they can say whatever they want. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, goodbye.